If you get a question like this, you should simply plug it into the correct formula. So they tell us that term 12 on, of an arithmetic sequence is 40. Okay, so straight away, I can say term 12 is 40. And then they say term 30 is 94. So I can say T30 is 94. I then need my arithmetic formula. And then I just plug everything in. So I could say 40 is equal to a plus 12 minus 1 times d. That would be my first one. And then I can simplify. So that'll be 40 is equal to a plus 11d. Then I do this one over here. And so I could say 94 is equal to a plus 30 minus 1 times d. And so 94 is going to be a plus 29d. And then you can use simultaneous equations. And you can do that however you want. There are many different ways to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation here, and I'm going to get a alone. And so that's going to be a is equal to 40 minus 11d. You then plug that into the other equation. So that would be 94 is equal to a, which is now 40 minus 11d plus 29d. I'm going to bring the 40 over, so that's 54 equals to 18d. Dividing by 18, we should find that d is 3. I could then plug that d value back into here. And so this tells us, or this means, that a would be 40 minus 11 times 3. And so a would be 7. Now we have a and we have d. And so we can answer their question, which is to find term 200. And so we can go find term 200 by typing in 7 plus 200 minus 1 and the common difference of 3. You then type that all in and you will get 604.